I am Vlacket's most loyal servant. She will not abandon me. Kalir's clutch held three dozen eggs, more or less. Though I've learned of creches that harbored a hundred. Humanoid. How I despise the term. Githyanki are quite superior to humans. Our biology slates state that Githyanki came to lay eggs after we escaped a lithid enslavement and took to the astral plane. It's an asexual process. A favorable change by any estimation. Hideous to imagine a life where I couldn't partake in the pleasures of sex without the looming threat of bearing children. Shukiani. Githyanki chosen by Vlacketh herself to bear young. The queen assigns when and where they must lay, and how many eggs they must bear. The Shukiani pass their eggs in the material plane. In the astral, time barely passes. It is a meticulous process, carefully timed so that the eggs hatch at once. Go on then. My own Savage would never have threatened a youngling. A waste of time and energy. The pupils themselves culled the weak from their ranks. I myself felled four of my own classmates once Kalir had a hundred times circled Tyrell. Survival. My people have no use for cowards. Every trainee that I slayed was either too weak to withstand the lessons, or was cocky enough to pick a fight they could never win. They underestimated me, so they paid the price. The Githyanki are only as powerful as their weakest warrior. Jaquith de Venzir, the termination of the frail, strengthens us. What's on your mind? My path be true. Heading out. Let's end this. Got to move. Right. 
I will not know failure. <laughs> for this. by my hand is <laughs> heading there You can take me on. Going. System lethal. On the move. Put him up. Boom!
imposing portrait depicts a powerful Githyanki warrior, undeniably regal in her mien. Blacketh herself. She is both the sun that blinds us and the void that contains us. Praise be. In the corner of the painting is a small symbol you can't quite place. As hard as you rack your brain, the symbol doesn't look like anything you've seen before. This Githyanki looks different from the others you've seen here. The way her stark white skin stretches over her sharp features gives her a distinctly otherworldly aspect. Take a moment to fully appreciate your masterpiece. She certainly looks a little less regal now. A wretched display. I thought you better than such juvenile antics. but to keep going.
Make way. What to do? I'm done. I can't wait to sleep. Whatever it takes. Blackets will be done. Is that blood? No, never mind. These boots have seen everything. Have you given any more thought to the retrieval of that Githyank here? I might have a few trinkets worth a glance.
feel that one later. How can I help? Supreme Kithrak, has Vlakit sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. Don't trust him. Skakak Kir Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazel. Within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlakith's demise? Shkakath! I should run you through for suggesting it. If they have not said, they must have good reason, and I won't be the one to betray them. But the one inside's chosen you as an ally, protects you with their power. That very power will be the end of Vlakith's tyranny. The Prism's tenant must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the Prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Boulder's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel, together we will break our chains and be Vlakith slaves no longer. I am no slave, just still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me, and she who will ascend me! Lies, Lazel. Every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify. It extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness! He flood me with this... this heresy! I... I will hear no more of it. I served Vlakith the whole of my life. Learned.
learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me a Sharlak. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Lazel, I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together we will be our people's light. Take this. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. I should go. Vlakith's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazo. Vlakith cost Sivim Hrath Crashet. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the 10,000 protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Voss speaks true, if Ascension is a lie, if Tadpole Purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. Ascension is a young Gith Yankee's greatest honor. Long ago, the Gaith enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose, to train hard enough to slay a Gaith and take its head. Then, we speak the right of ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith, in Tunarath, City of Death. We are honored with an eternal home in the Astral, celebrated for our victory, we are ascended, or so I believed. I'd never thought Vlaki the tyrant, or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlaki consumes the ascended to gain power, then... I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Gith Yankee is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Gaith, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. At first, I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Vos believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. Then, when the Kithraki come for me, and come they will, I will submit to their blades. They would feed me to their dragons, and I would deserve no better. Yes, I'd like time to think. 
We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesse's caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlakith's eyes are upon us. on my feet. Down the hatch.
Please. <laughs> The Absolute forces have taken Duke Raven Guard to Moonrise Towers. A powerful asset. Just what are their intentions, I wonder? <laughs> <laughs> 